All scientific equipment is subject to variability when performing a measurement. It's not a question of whether there's going to be variation. It's a question of how much variation exists. Fortunately, there's an organization dedicated to developing standards of measurement in many scientific fields. They're known as the Association of Analytical Communities. They understand that any attempt to measure a substance will have some amount of variation, even when that measurement is done under laboratory conditions with trained scientists. The amount of variation that the Association of Analytical Communities says is acceptable depends on two factors. The most important factor is the concentration of the substance you are measuring. The higher the percentage of a substance that exists in a sample, the easier it is to measure it accurately. The opposite is also true. When there's less of a substance, it becomes harder to accurately measure it. The second factor affecting variation is the conditions under which the measurement is performed. Controlled conditions result in lower variability. The same measurement done in uncontrolled conditions will result in greater variability. The Pharmanex Biophotonic Scanner measures nanograms of carotenoid molecules per milligram of tissue. This equates to a parts per billion measurement. In other words, for every billion molecules of tissue, the scanner is typically finding only a few carotenoid molecules. This is a very difficult measurement, and the Association of Analytical Communities accepts that measurements with similar levels of concentration will have a 15% degree of variation even in controlled conditions. However, most scans are not done in controlled conditions. Scanners are used in homes, offices, convention centers, and many other places. Scanners have different operators as well, each of which may do things a little differently. When a difficult parts per billion measurement is performed in uncontrolled conditions, the Association of Analytical Communities accepts variation much higher than 15%. They accept variation as high as 32% as valid. Despite these challenges, the biophotonic scanner usually maintains a 15% range of variation when scoring. This means that 85% of a person's biophotonic scanner scores will fall within 15% of that individual's true hand value. When discussing the accuracy of the biophotonic scanner, one must first understand true hand value, or THV. THV is defined as the average score of an individual at a given time if that person was scanned an infinite number of times. The more scan results you average together, the closer you get to the true numerical representation of a person's real scanner score. A person's THV can be estimated by taking a series of scans. Each individual scan will be slightly different because all parts per billion measurements will have some variation. But, by taking an average of many scans, you can obtain a THV, which is a more accurate representation of the real or true carotenoid concentration in tissue. When discussing variability for a scientific instrument, it's common to say that a score is accurate within plus or minus a percent of a number. For example, you may hear poll results on television being accurate within plus or minus 5%. What does this mean? The accuracy of the Pharmanex Biophotonic Scanner is plus or minus 7.5% of a person's THV. For example, if a person's THV is 55,000, then 7.5% of 55,000 is 4,100 points. This person's score could be 4,100 points up from 55,000, or it could be 4,100 down from 55,000. So, while the person's THV may be 55,000 at a particular time, the score from any single biophotonic scan could fall between 50,900 points and 59,100 points, which is plus or minus 7.5% from 55,000. 7.5% on either side adds up for a total range of 15% variation. You could say that at a given time, 85% of all scores for a person with a THV of 55,000 will fall in an 8,200 point range with the THV of 55,000 as the middle point. Some scores can fall outside the 15% variation range. Such scores are referred to as outliers. 
Outliers are normal in measurement and do not mean anything is wrong. However, outliers do introduce a risk when relying on any one single measurement because there's a small chance that any one measurement may be an outlier. This 15% range around the THV is different for everyone. For example, the 15% range around a THV of 55,000 is 8,200 points. But the same 15% range around a THV of 35,000 would only be 5,200 points. For a person whose THV is only 15,000, the 15% 15 range would only be 2,200 points. The variability range is proportionate to the THV. Measurement variation exists in all devices. The variation can even be predicted depending on concentration levels of the substance. But variation cannot be avoided. It's an inevitable part of all scientific measurement. However, operators who are careful can minimize variation. This is done by controlling the scanning environment and being consistent. Some simple practices can control score variation and reduce the number of outliers when using the biophotonic scanner. Good posture when scanning is important. Sit comfortably without slouching, reaching, or leaning. Try to hold still during a scan rather than moving around while talking or shifting positions. A valuable skill that a scanner operator can learn is how to correctly position a hand on the scanner. Accurate and repeatable hand placement is vital to reducing score variation. Always scan the same spot on the hand every time. The target scanning zone is about a centimeter up from the base of the palm and between the heart and the head lines. The hand should gently cup the scanner nose rather than holding the palm flat or curving it too much. Rest the hand on the scanner nose without pressing hard. Maintain even pressure during the scan and use the same amount of pressure every time you scan. When scanning someone else, take the time to help them with good hand position and scanning practices so they can get the best result possible. The environment in which you scan can also be managed to reduce variation. Perform your scans at room temperature between 60 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 to 26 degrees Celsius. Arrive early and perform a few operator scans to warm up the device. When moving a scanner from a hot or cold environment, give the scanner about 30 minutes to acclimate to the new temperature before scanning. Avoid storing your scanner in extreme heat or cold. The optimal storage temperature range is between 40 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 to 43 degrees Celsius. Treat the scanner with care. Set it down gently and never toss or drop it, even when it is in its case. The scanner is a delicate scientific instrument and should always be transported with care. Be sure to protect the device as much as possible. When traveling by airplane, take the scanner as carry-on luggage. Avoid putting the scanner into checked luggage, which may be subject to rough handling. Always remember, the biophotonic scanner is a miracle of modern technology, but even miracles need a hand.